What if you didn't need official banks to shop, transfer money or to pay someone? That's exactly what's happening around the world with the rise of the digital community currencies. These alternative currencies use online platforms to fulfill social goals. Samadun is a community currency that's currently active in the south of the Netherlands, in municipalities Berg op Zoom and the municipality of Tone. There are around 7,000 people that are learning, and these 7,000 people are able to get points if they buy a product or a service in a local shop. But you also get points if you do something in the public domain. For example, if you take care of the elderly in the elderly care centre, if you clean uh, the park around the school, or if you do uh, voluntary work in one of the associations which is connected to that. Samadun is a great example of how to uh, build a cohesive uh, community with digital currencies by encouraging the exchange of digital currency in one community, you keep uh, work and money within the community and therefore you help the community to raise its cohesion. Uh, but there are many other examples and we analyzed 22 platforms from different angles. But four dimensions became quite clear as dimensions that are important to distinguish the different types of platforms. The first one has to do with platform architecture. Um, what are the standard rules and interfaces that are used? Or is there more a more flexible approach where modularity of process and uh, elements are taking shape in that platform? Second one has to do with platform governance. Who has the decision rights about membership and the design of the platform? Third, about transactionality. Who is trading with whom? And the fourth one has to do with virtuality. Do we have to do with a physical uh, currency or with more virtual currency enabled by the new technologies like blockchain? An example of a community currency that made the transition from physical to digital can be found in Brazil. Community currencies started uh, in Brazil about uh, 20 years ago when a, a group of people in a, in a poor neighborhood decided that they were poor, not because they didn't have money, but they couldn't keep the money uh, inside the community. So then this group of people created a, an organization called Banco Palmas, and this manages a, a community currency. It is valid only inside uh, this neighborhood. And then nowadays we have something like 120 different community banks managing their own community currencies all over uh, Brazil. The whole community currency system changed from printed paper to a digital platform based on, on, on mobile. There's quite a hype about uh, Bitcoin and, uh, and blockchain. Uh, Bitcoin is the digital currency that is traded worldwide by a blockchain uh, ledger technology. Uh, you should distinguish the two because one is the digital currency and the other one is the encryption and decentralized trading mechanism uh, that you can use around the world. Other examples are Aurora coin in Iceland or trade coin in the Netherlands. And these uh, examples are um, focusing on trying to find a balance between the local and the global. So uh, on one hand you would like to keep the money in the local community, on the other hand you would like to trade globally. And there are different solutions for that and the different platforms show how to build this social cohesion on local and a global uh, platform.